Hey guys, what's up? This is Nuts here. As you can see, I am today at Animal Kingdom. I'm here at the Tree of Life. And today I'm going to show you four spots which I think are probably some of the coolest spots to take the photos of the Tree of Life. Now why four? I think five is overrated, six everybody does it, and seven Stacy owns it. So we're going to go with four today. So the first one on the list is obviously head on to the tree. That's the one that I guess uh, it's probably the most recognized one, the one that everybody does. Now here's a couple shots of different types of lenses. Now the one with the fisheye, to be honest, I'm not a fan of it because I think that the tree looks too far away for my taste. But if you guys like it, then go for it. Here's a couple shots of different lenses shooting straight from the tree. Okay, the second spot is actually going in through the queue line of it's tough to be a bug or through the exit of one of the uh, um, Discovery Island trails. So I'm going to flip the camera around and go to show you exactly where this is, which is a really cool spot to be honest with you. Now we're going to go through this trail, which is actually one of the entrances to Discovery Island trails. There's two entrances. There's one near uh, Starbucks and the other one is near the entrance of uh, it's tough to be a bug. Okay, so we're coming up on that trail that I was telling you about. And here is one of the coolest spots where you can shoot it from. Literally right here, from this fence here. And you shoot upwards towards the tree of life and it comes out awesome. Okay, so we were just standing right over there. Now, for any reason you come a little bit late, that place is actually gonna be closed, the trail. So what I recommend is you just come in through here through the regular queue line if it's tough to be a bug and there's some awesome spots that you can somewhat get a similar shot. One is, for example, from this rope here. If you can see, you get basically the same shot as if you were standing up there and that bridge. Now, the four spots that I'm posting here on this video does not mean that are set in stone. There's tons of other great spots, and I think I got, I got some Tree of Life water on the lens. Make sure to follow every trail, every possible trail you can find here at Animal Kingdom. There's tons of spots that you can uh, take photos from. Um, I can go around the, these trails all day, to be honest with you guys. Um, just look at this. Look at this. Let me turn around. Look at that. This tree is awesome, tons of shots you can put, and it's, uh, it's never ending. That's the cool thing of Disney, that there's so many details here. It's, uh, it's awesome. Let's keep on walking around. Okay, the next spot is actually a pretty fun one. You can actually get to it through two ways. You can, and it's actually the exit of It's Tough to Be a Bug. We're gonna come in through one of the lines, which is actually the one that's always, the one that's always crowded. For some reason, people always take a right when they exit the uh, attraction, instead of taking left, which is always empty. How amazing is that, guys? Okay, guys, I guess it's a no-brainer when you see a waterfall like this, uh, the Tree of Life, you know you gotta take out the tripod, put the ND filter, and take a photo. Um, let's set up right now, actually. We're gonna take a shot right here from the floor because I got a small little tripod, and let's see how it comes out. Let's do it. 
Okay, so we're ready to take the shot here. Here's the basic setup I'm going to be having just for you guys to know. I got my Canon 80D and I got the Tokina lens, the ultra wide angle lens here set at 12. And then I got my ND filter and this is what's going to allow me to freeze the motion of the waterfall. So this is a must when doing these type of shots. Now, if you haven't seen my video of using ND filters, go ahead and check it out. It shows how to use these things and how to get the really cool effects, even when it's full daylight like this. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the camera and let's head over there and set up, take the photo. Okay, so here's where we have the camera set up on the floor with that ultra wide angle. Here's the shot that we're doing. How cool is that? Okay, as for settings, pretty straightforward. I am using f5.6, I'm fixing it at ISO 100 and I am setting the shutter speed depending on what the meter exposure tells me which is a little bit more, which is right there dead in the center. And I'll put the timer on for two seconds so it doesn't shake. And there we go for two seconds. And let's go. Those are five seconds, there it is guys. Which what I love of this location that it's always empty and there's so much stuff that you can put inside the frame. For example, you got this fence right here, you got the waterfall going on, you got the whole tree almost unobstructed, so this is an awesome spot for photos guys. Now I've taken this photo of a couple of lenses so you can get an example of different angles and stuff that you can do, but this is probably one of my favorite spots besides uh, head on of the tree. Sure helps. Okay guys, the next one on the list is actually across from the lake that's right here next to the Tree of Life. And as you, we're gonna go over to that hut over there which is where PhotoPass usually uh, parks. And that spot is amazing because you can get some really cool shots. Okay guys, so we're walking over the bridge of Africa and if you know me, I love to take photos with the people who follow the account. And there's one guy here which is awesome. He actually runs a really good Instagram account, awesome photos. And he actually just started as recently as PhotoPass, which is really cool because I like to come here to the parks, find them, and bug the crap out of them. And he's right there behind me and his account is Mouse by Mike. Make sure you check him out, okay? Let's go over there and bug him. Let's go say hi. If you see him around the park here at Animal Kingdom, tell him that Disney not send you and give him a hug. Okay guys, once you cross that bridge, it's a whole nother thing happening over here. Tons of entertainment. I'm going to show you.
Okay, so I caved in and I had to buy the chocolate covered pineapple thing. Um, it was just calling my name. I had to do it. So I am going to sit down somewhere and eat this thing and I'll be right back. Okay, now that was amazing guys. To be honest, it was it was good. Now I admit that the one at Epcot was probably better and the reason for that was that it had the caramel on top. This one was just the chocolate, but the fact that it had the stick on it did help um, to be able to eat it. But once you start getting to the bottom, it would just like all fall apart. But anyway, I'd gladly eat it again. So make sure you try that out when you head over here to Animal Kingdom, okay? It was really good. Let's keep on walking around. Okay, so let's keep on with our walking tour of some awesome spots to shoot here at the Tree of Life. So we've already crossed the bridge. You guys saw the awesome entertainment that you can find here. So we're going to be walking uh, to the right when you uh, get off of the bridge and you'll find obviously the Tree of Life right here. But there's two good spots here that you can actually take photos. I'm going to lump them together because they're just too awesome to uh, take alone. And one is actually going down this trail here to the right. It's the first trail you'll see on the right hand side. And we're going to go down it so you can see it. Hello. Hello. Go down here. As you saw, Photo Pass usually hangs out in the uh, on the entrance there to bring people down because many people don't come down here as packed as it is today. Um, this spot is great for photos and it's uh, usually empty. Now you can take some really awesome night shots here as well as day shots and the reason for that is that you get all this cool reflection right here. Look at that, all this cool reflection on the bottom. So make sure you check out this spot when you come over here to Animal Kingdom. Okay, so there's another spot that's really cool. I'm gonna go actually out again. It looks like she found somebody. We're gonna come out here. And for that shot, obviously, if you're gonna be doing night shots, make sure you're in the tripod. So we're gonna go out through here. And as you know, we came in through the left, so we're gonna take a right. And there's another spot here which PhotoPass takes, which is a, a really good spot. So many times they'll park there, but if we're nice, we can squeak in through a corner. Okay, and as we get closer, it is right here, guys. This is a, such an awesome spot to take shots. There's obviously a bunch of people here, but we'll squeeze in here through the back. Right here, look at this. And this is awesome because you got all the, all the green down here, which you can include inside the shot. Now, if you take it with a wide angle, you get all that as well, including, a, let's say, a fisheye and stuff like that. You can get plenty of stuff inside the frame. Awesome. Okay guys, so that's it from here from Animal Kingdom. Sorry for the change of clothes, but I had to come a couple days. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed these spots and the tour around Animal Kingdom and some of the areas and some of the entertainment it has to offer. Now again, if this is the first time watching these videos, my name is Disney Nuts, and I do videos from here from the parks, and I do how-to videos about how I edit and do other fun stuff. So if you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe and click the bell. Until then guys, until the next video, stay awesome. Let's go.